Well, hey y'all, it's Bill. I uh, just wanted to jump on here for a few minutes this morning. It's, it's actually almost noon uh, where I am in Florida. And it's been about a month since I posted my last video, which I did uh, kind of a tutorial on how to set up a family tree on Ancestry.com. Well, not long after that, I started really struggling. Uh, if you've looked at any of the videos on my channel, you'll know that I struggle with depression. And I have a condition that's called persistent depressive disorder, which means that I'm, a, I'm at a low level of depression 365 days of the year. Um, it, you know... You learn to cope with that, but sometimes uh, a, a, a bout of clinical depression settles in on top of that, and you end up with what my therapist calls double depression. And so that's what I've been struggling with for the last three or four weeks. And I just, you know, I've been throwing myself into my um, genealogy research just to get away from my own thoughts and to give me something to occupy the hours of every day. Uh, some days it was so hard just to get through the day. Um, and, you know, there are a lot of really bad thoughts that come with double depression. And for me, I struggle with that a lot. Three or four times a year, I'll develop double depression, and so I just have to work through it. And so I do things like I've got a, a pretty good size uh, vinyl record collection of old, you know, classic country music LPs. And so this time around, um, I've spent a lot of time on digitizing those old records. We're talking like 1970s, 1980s country music artists. Um, I spent a lot of time digitizing those records uh, over the past several weeks. Just, it, you know, it just gives me something to do. Also, um, I, as I said, I, I, I sort of, do a deep dive into my family history and genealogy research. I've got a uh, all access subscription to uh, ancestry.com and that's that's where I've been building these trees. Um, I, I do I do a couple things with that and uh, a lot of times I'll I'll, I'll start working on, people that have I've matched with with the DNA testing. And so lately that's what I've been doing is following up on DNA matches because oftentimes you'll get a DNA match with somebody you don't have a clue as to how you're related. You might even be second, third cousins, which is fairly, you know, considered not distant family, but you know, fairly close family but you can't figure out how you're related to each other because the last names are different. And, and so I've been working on that kind of stuff. I've been communicating back and forth with people that I've matched with to see if we can figure out how we connect on the family tree. And it's been a, it's been a good, uh, a good time. I've gotten some good responses from people. And when I find a, a you know, unless it's a super distant cousin, like fourth, fifth, sixth cousin, if it's second or third cousin, I try to find out if they're on social media, can we become friends on Facebook? And that way I can learn more about them. They can learn about me, watch my uh, personal posts and videos that I put on there. And it's just a way to keep my mind occupied because when you're depressed, uh, keeping your mind occupied is very, very important because uh, when you're struggling with uh, uh, ideas, you know, thinking that 
you might be better off and others would be better off if you weren't even around. I mean, those kinds of what they call ideations are really, really hard to deal with. And so that's kind of where I've been these past four weeks. Uh, if I ever get to the point where I'm going to get off of YouTube for permanently, I will post a video and tell everybody on that watches my channel um, that that's what I'm going to do. Um, I don't have any plans of doing that unless I get physically unable to do it, like, you know, can't get out of bed kind of a thing or hospitalized or something like that that prevents me from doing it. But I do enjoy making YouTube videos, although, you know, it's it's hard work. If, if you ever, you know, follow somebody on YouTube, you don't realize how much work is involved in getting a channel going and, and monetized and then keeping it going so that your, your followers uh, maintain interest in what you're doing. Um, by the way, you may have noticed something different about me. Um, I had hair down about here, uh, way below my chin. <laughs> and, uh, a couple of three, two, three weeks ago, I, I had developed a really bad rash on the sides underneath my ears down my neck and on the back of my neck, it was a really bad rash and it itched like crazy. And I was really struggling with it. I was trying to put medication on there. I was using a prescription shampoo uh, that my dermatologist provided and it just would not go away. And I thought, you know, as hot as it is, and it's been, it's been 95 degrees for the past two months you know, it's just been crazy hot here in Florida. So um, I thought, you know, I know how to get rid of this stuff. And so I, I went to a barber two weeks ago and and she cut most of it off, um, but left it kind of long and shaggy on the sides and it was flipping up. My hair is curly when it's short. And so it was flipping out on the sides like little wings sticking out. It looked like Mercury, you know, the uh, superhero Mercury. Uh, that's kind of how I looked. And so um, I went back to my regular barber. The week I got it cut, my regular barber was on vacation. And I just had to get some of that hair off of me. And so I went to one barber, had most of it taken off, and I went back yesterday to my regular barber, and she she really neatened it up. And uh, I'm getting a lot of compliments on 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 the look. <laughs> I also cut my beard about half my my goatee. I cut that way back, and uh, because I was developing this sort of crusty psoriasis type stuff on my skin. And uh, that was as bad as, as the thing on my neck. It really, really itched crazy, especially at night. So anyway, that's kind of a, a brief update of what's going on. By the way, I, I just want to let you know, I did start therapy um, with a new therapist about two weeks ago. Three, no, three weeks ago. I was, I was really getting worried. Um, about my mental state. And so there's a, a, a really interesting um, web platform called betterhelp.com. And I went on there and signed up. And if you can't afford it, which I really couldn't, uh, they have the ability for you to apply for um, a financial hardship. And so I went on there and I applied for that. And you have to answer a few questions. And they came back and gave me 40% off, which, man, I really appreciated that. So for about 180 bucks, I get an entire month of unlimited um, 
contact with my therapist. Now, I can only do one video session a week unless I want to pay $15 additional per session if I need more sessions than one a week. But I have access to him daily. I can, We can message back and forth all day long if I need to. I can ask him questions. Uh, he can send me worksheets to fill out or whatever. And I'm really, I've really been impressed with it. I, I, I uh, the first therapist I, I, I picked or they matched me up with on BetterHelp, I didn't really care for the guy. And so you can change your therapist anytime you want. So I picked another guy, an older guy, and he's uh, retired Air Force and I've got an Air Force background myself. <clears throat> and so um, we've been meeting up online for the last two weeks and chatting back and forth during the day via text message. So um, that's another plus as well. And that's been a big help to me. So anyway, thanks for hanging with me. I appreciate you um, watching this video today. I really do. It means a lot to me. And I hope that you're doing well and uh, that you are uh, thriving and and encouraged in the things going on in your life. So here I'm going to say, as you know, do the Lawler thing. Bye for now. Y'all take care.